Hi, my name is Tom Mavro and welcome to the Cut It TV training channel. The channel has been set up to provide easy to follow training tutorials in today's key media production software. Cut It itself is a UK based training company with over 15 years experience providing hands on training in media production. If you would like any further information about our training services, please visit our website at www.cut-it.tv or check us out on social media. I hope you enjoy the following tutorial. Next, we're going to have a look at rendering a sequence. On my timeline here, I've got a couple of clips with titles, I have a couple of transitions, and I have three colored lines above my edit. These represent slightly different things. So the red bar here represents that Premiere is doing a preview. This might be through my graphics card, this might be through RAM, but the red bar indicates that it's potentially dropping some frames to preview at the moment. This yellow bar indicates it's also doing a preview, but it's doing that at a full frame rate without dropping any frames. This little bit of green here is where I've rendered a small section of the timeline, and that means that there's a preview file that's been created. A preview file is a brand new video file that is generated when you render a sequence or render a part of a sequence, and this would incorporate within the video file uh, any effects, etc., on that section. In this case, it would incorporate the little bit of title here with a wipe, and it would be outputting that section of the timeline as a brand new video file and it then plays that video file back instead of previewing anything through RAM or through your graphics card. If for any reason I'd finished my sequence and there were areas of it where it's dropping frames as a preview and it's dropping so many frames that it's effectively not really letting me watch that part of the sequence, I would quite commonly render either part or all of my sequence just so I can view it all once at full frame rate uh, and just check that everything's okay. If however it's previewing fine as it is and it might be dropping the odd frame but it's unnoticeable then I'd go straight to output. If I did need to render a sequence so or part of a sequence this is how I do it. If I want to render just a section select that section highlight it and go to the sequence menu and choose render selection. I can also use this, uh, do the same thing by using in and out points on the sequence and choosing render in to out and that will just render that section between the in and the out point. If I just want to render everything now, I just click on the timeline and hit enter on the keyboard and that would then render the entire sequence. It generates a load of preview files about any of the red areas where it's potentially dropping frames are. This is now playing back the preview files it's just generated. Once I've checked the se sequence and I'm happy that everything's okay, I'm ready to output. 